Hey there, Prosperity Practitioner. It is Brandon Hanley here, the voice of a generation. How are you? Today I wanted to cover something that just really got me inspired, got me lit up. It's actually got me lit up this entire week. I'm currently reading John C. Maxwell's book, The 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader. And chapter four really got me lit up. It's about communication and a couple of really huge lines that, that that just kind of spoke to me the first one came from uh, if a leader can't get a message across clearly and motivate others to act on it then having a message doesn't even matter so you know uh, one of the things that i haven't always done was give a call to action and that's on me that's because i was like well that's just marketing and i don't want people to you know, it should be should be inspired action. I shouldn't have to ask them to do anything. Well, if you don't ask somebody to do something, they probably don't know that you want them to do it, <laughs> right? Uh, like I've got my two sons, Finn and Liam, and if I don't ask them to clean their room, they probably don't know that I want them to do it, you know? Uh, <laughs> and and there's so many different ways that that goes. So one of, one of the things I want to ask you guys to do that if you're enjoying this podcast, if you are enjoying some of these Facebook live videos, or if you're enjoying some of the videos, share them, uh, share them and tag somebody you know that may enjoy them. Uh, and if you're checking out the podcast, go over to iTunes, leave a rating and review. Let me know what you're thinking and or join the Facebook group. Join the Prosperity Facebook group. I'm currently running a 21-day challenge to work on some of these habits that can bring you greater happiness and more prosperity. Outside of that, the quote, I've got a quote for you today that's a little bit outside norm. And like I said, I wanted to focus on this post that I made that totally relates to it. Well, it, it was inspired by the first part I read there. And then uh, the second part, which was Field Marshal Ferdinand's quote that says, the most powerful weapon on earth is the human soul on fire. And that inspired this post that I'm just going to read for you today. It says, what is it you feel when you're motivated within? Are you inspired? That inspiration is the spark. The action that you take is the air that fans that spark. Repeated actions on the same sparks are like bellows in a forge, and gradually that spark becomes a flame and your soul is on fire. You ask, what is the soul? And, who, and how will I know that I'm on fire? Your soul is your inner self. Your soul is the litmus test of your body, your mind, your emotions, all of your beliefs. It is also what extends beyond you and you don't want anyone to see. That is, you've kept it shaded. You've kept it to yourself. You don't believe your light is the right light for anyone else to see. And you will know that you're on fire when you take a gas, when you realize that this quote is true for you, when you realize that the light that is within you allows much more than just a dim LED like a phone along the dark path, each step becoming more treacherous than the last. When you realize that your light is beyond that of all the suns and the stars and that your path you light up is open for all. And each time you take a step, you're no longer walking, you're flying, your feet are walking on air. As for me, I believe in this. I believe that the most powerful weapon on earth is the human soul on fire. And if this ignites you, if this fans your flames, let me know. Reach out to me. And if you don't know, uh, if you, like I said down here, if you know someone is shining, if you know someone is holding back from sharing their light, let me know. Put me in contact. If you're having a problem, not a problem. If you're, you know, if you're if you're afraid to shine your light, I talk to a lot of people, and they're like, I don't. What are people gonna think? How are they going to take me? How are they going to view this? I don't have greatness within. I've always, I think that one of the big things for me was saying, hey, you know, step into the greatness of, of, of you. Step into your own greatness. I think that that's, I think that that's huge. And if you, if you don't think that you're great, if you don't think that you're amazing, I think that also you're holding yourself back. I think everybody's got the potential to do it. I think that everybody's got that within them. And I think that everybody's got a certain type of artistry available to them. Your artistry could be with cooking, could be with paint, could be with words, could be with podcasting. It could be with so many different things. And unless you step out, and unless you try, and unless you acknowledge that spark that's within you, 
then that's the type of thing that goes, that goes to your grave. And I don't want to see that happen. I don't want to see that happen for anybody. And that's what the prosperity practice is about. It's about reaching in, acknowledging the light that you have there, fanning that flame, inspiring yourself. And when others see that you're inspired, they're inspired. You know, it's just kind of like a, a, a reaction that happens all over. All right, guys. Talk to you later.